The little sister, once, a soldier with a loving wife and a cherished son, expressed a strong desire for more children. His joy knew no bounds when his wife became pregnant. Convinced it would be a boy, the soldier told his son about an ongoing war and his imminent departure to fight. With a heavy heart, he instructed the boy, You will be the man of the house. Take care of your mother, and when the baby arrives, if it's a girl, you must end her life. Bring me proof of her blood. But if it's a boy, kill the black sheep and bring its blood to me. The boy, torn and unhappy, struggled with his father's demand, expressing his inability to harm his own sister. The soldier, sternly asserting the need to be a man, bid farewell and left for war. When the baby, a girl, was born, the brother's love for her overcame the father's instructions. He vowed to protect and care for her, and when the war ended, he worried about their father's return. To shield his sister from their father's rejection, the boy cautioned her not to reveal their relationship. When the soldier returned, the boy delivered the news of a son offering the blood of a black sheep as proof, yet concealing the truth from his father. In the years that followed, the siblings lived in a forest, facing dangers from ogres. The brother was brave and strong, defeating some ogres, but unable to eliminate the threat entirely. One day, a clever young ogre fell in love with a girl and proposed marriage. Despite her brother's history with ogres, the girl considered the ogre's offer due to his wealth and charm. The ogre, aware of the brother's animosity, suggested killing him to ensure their happiness. The girl, torn between love for her brother and the ogre's appeal, struggled to make a choice. Each day, the ogre pressed her to choose between him and her brother. Finally, in desperation, the girl agreed to marry the ogre. The ogre, thrilled, proposed a plan involving a magical transformation. The girl, now changed by the ogre's enchanted food, was willing to harm her brother. Following the ogre's instructions, she convinced her brother to fetch the ogre's food setting the stage for a tragic confrontation. Despite warnings from an old ogre, the brother persisted and met the young ogre. In a twist of fate, the ogre and the girl attempted to kill the brother. Before his demise, the brother made a request. Kill me if you like, but then put my body on the back of my mule. Put my rifle on the mule and send it out into the barley field. The ogre, agreeing to the plea, killed the brother, cut him in many places, and placed his body on the mule. The old ogre intervened, reviving the brother and offering him his rifle. The brother returned to his house, defeated the young ogre, and rescued his sister. However, he delivered a heartbreaking truth to their parents. I saved her life, but she killed me. The somber conclusion left everyone reflecting.